Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so I very much enjoy reviewing and looking at all sorts of hair products. Now, I have long, uh, longer length than probably uh, most men would normally have. I have fine textured hair and I have grown out blonde highlights, which I'm actually in the process in a short while of having them redone for the winter sort of season, because I think that looks really super cool. Now, I'm always on the lookout for products which boost fine hair, boost thickness, and also look after sort of damaged hair or, or sort of bleached hair, what have you, or anything which promises something which may not necessarily be that believable, or a really big, huge sort of claim in a product, and I'm really interested especially to look at those. Now, the product which I'm going to have a look at today is probably aimed probably at women's hair, but men can use this as well. So this is by L'Oreal Paris LV Dream Links 8 Second Wonder Water and it's Laminar Conditioner, Long Hair Transformation, but Laminar Water, I believe. So 8 Seconds Wonder Water, Laminar Conditioner Water or Wonder, Wonder Water, whatever you want to call it. So you can see I have got hardly any of this left. It's completely gone. Now, the story of this. Did I first buy this one? OK, so no, I did not. Who bought it? So I live in the family home. OK, so my mum actually bought this. She has very, very long hair, very, very glamorous, very stunning hair, almost to her waist. She's recently had a bit cut, so it's a bit shorter than that now. But she has long coloured hair. So she actually tried this product. And you know what? If you're waiting, if it's fantastic or not, my mum actually did not like this product. So it sat in our family bathroom for quite a while. Now, the reason why she didn't like it is she didn't actually think that it made her hair as soft, as sleek as it actually promised. And my mum really loves products which boost shine um, and is always on the lookout for that sort of mirror glass sheen which anybody will know of dark hair, if it's naturally healthy, then it does. And you can buy products to boost that as well. So that's what my mum looks for. So for me, it's more conditioned in my hair. And I would never have actually tried this product. But you know what? It was sat in, my, in our family bathroom for a while. And I thought to myself, do you know what? I've looked at that bottle several times and why not give it a go? I absolutely, I am a huge advocate for products which are just aimed for one, whether it be a man or a woman. Sometimes, you know, a product which is sometimes aimed at a woman can sometimes work better for men's hair, or a product which is aimed at men's hair can even work better for women's hair. Now, of course, I'm not saying this is just for men or just for women at all, but we shouldn't stereotypically shut ourselves away from products which is aimed at not immediately at our own hair type. So men can use this product as well. I'll tell you a little bit about it very, very quickly. So it's by L'Oreal Paris LV. So we know it's a big, it's a renowned brand. It's got, of course, got a lot of, a uh, lot of history in, um, all sorts of parts of the world. And they are a huge company with a heart, a huge sort of marketplace is all really down to them, all of their products. They have so many different products, so many different brands, but hair care, you can probably see it anywhere here in the UK. And I imagine in America and else places in the world as well. So this stuff, we know it's from a great brand. It says for long damaged hair, so not necessarily. My hair comes just after my chin length, so for me, it's longer. Now, I have grown out highlights, so anybody who's got bleached uh, parts of their hair or areas which they've had highlighted, as you can see, I've got, it's really grown out now, and it is quite light towards the end. I don't know if you can kind of just see that. And I'm, um, and I'm planning to have that done pretty soon. Um, as well. So anything like that takes a toll on your hair. So you should really pay attention to the products you're using, particularly the lengths and ends of your hair, and they need the extra nourishment. So that's why I thought I wanted to give this a go. I'll just tell you a little bit about it on the back here. So Dream Lengths Wonder Water instantly detangles for sleeker, smoother lengths in just eight seconds. For the long hair of your dreams, more hydrated, shinier hair, easier hair manageability. OK, so how to use. So it says in shower, apply directly to wet hair on lengths only. Massage in for eight seconds. OK, rinse out, avoiding contact with eyes, of course. OK, so use on wet hair after shampooing. One dose is 20 mil. And they've got this is a this is an older sort of packaging here, but they've got the um, they've got sort of the measurements on the side here of what 20 mil is. So I'm presuming that this would be a double dose here because that's 40 mil. And then one of these single amounts here would be 20 mil. So that's how much they're sort of informing you to use. OK, so let's go on to it a little bit more here. Um, so one dose for fine to medium texture, two to three doses for thick to curly texture. Use another dose as needed for extra long hair. Use conditioner after if needed. You may feel a slight warming sensation when the product activates for even greater results. 
follow with the blow dryer. Now, I'll be quite honest with you, I didn't really find too much difference the first time I used this. In fact, I was quite sort of flattened about it and I thought, okay, so what's all the hype about this product? Because it really hasn't done anything to my hair. And it turned out I didn't actually do it properly because I was putting it on towel dried hair. So that is not the case at all. So how I would probably recommend using this and anybody out there, feel free to correct me, comment if you think I'm absolutely talking rubbish, what on earth is he on about? Then bearing in mind, anybody can try this, men, women, whatever age, whatever hair type texture, you want to try it, try it. What is there to stop you? Nothing absolutely at all. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Everybody's entitled to try products which are aimed at whoever. So that's what I felt like doing. So I tried it once, didn't really use it correctly, took a look on the back of the product, and then I thought, okay, let's do it slightly differently. So after I shampooed my hair, what I actually done was left the length of my hair into the sink. Okay, and then as my hair was sopping wet, I literally just squeezed the bottle back and forth in sections across my hair. So all over into the sink and then as I was holding my hair in the front I was literally just just squeezing it all throughout the front there and just making sure my hair was coated. I will be honest I used way more than what I had than what it's directed on here okay but I think that the 20 mil section I'll be very very honest with you where is it the 20 mil section here this is quite frankly I think a little bit silly I think you need way more than that to make a difference um, because it's just not enough. The laminar I believe that's pronounced conditioner for me is it a bit of a hype? No, not at all. There was an absolute difference when I used it. But however, I did use more than what it is aimed at. And I left it for about 10 seconds in the water. And when your hair is absolutely saturated wet, it makes the hair feel renewed, completely sort of transformed. The ends of my hair and particularly where I have bleach in my hair towards the end feels coarse it feels a little bit of a different texture anybody who's had their hair highlighted men women whatever um you will you will absolutely know regardless of how you want to put it bleach changes the texture of your hair so if you're looking at this and you're thinking for colored hair then i think absolutely great if you're a man watching this and you've got perhaps like a uh, lighter hair a uh, little bit sort of like um let's think who sort of hairstyle like that. so for me for example i quite like the uh, keith urban's blonde uh, sort of mixed hairstyle i think he's really cool i think his hairstyle is really really cool i quite like that as a bit of an influence on my style the Brad Pitt style where he's got his hair longer to his shoulders, that sort of type blonde is really, really cool. I like that as well. Anyone who's sporting that look or trying to achieve that look, you know, that if you're having your hair highlighted, it is a bit more difficult because it breaks. It damages really, really quite easy, especially if you're using heat, passing a straightener through your hair. So products such as this, the laminar, wa uh, laminar water, fantastic, because it really did pump that nourishment and really make my hair feel renewed. Um, after you, the, um, you then give it a bit of a rinse through and then rinse it all out, the texture changes. It doesn't feel so amazing. You are left with an absolute real refreshed uh, length of the hair. It really does make a difference. But however, it you you kind of when your hair's wet you kind of get that amazing kind of shock and then after you kind of step back a little bit and then you get like that real realistic sort of approach and that sort of nourishment so it is good is it better than a conditioner it's different to be quite honest with you so a conditioner I, in my sort of theory it lopes the hair it coats the hair it really soothes the hair so you get that feeling and some conditioners on fine textured hair can be quite heavy this isn't you don't get no weights no sort of heaviness on hair at all like this um it really does make the hair feel just completely refreshed, almost like that you've had that haircut. It's not super, super amazing like a glass finish, but it really does make the hair feel much more nourished than what um, some conditioners would. Um, it's lightweight, it's really like airy straight away. That's a strange way of describing it, but it doesn't have any effect on the actual weight of the hair. So for me, I really, really liked it. Would I buy it again? Yes, after I've had uh, highlights put through my hair again, I would absolutely buy this. But for me, and people are gonna say, you're talking ridiculous. For me, I do not see that that would be, whereas I do not see that this would be, what's this meant to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. So for somebody with standard hair, this is meant to be six to seven to eight applications in here. No, I'm afraid three, I would say, because you do need quite a bit of it. Um, and for me, when I tried it, first of all, wasn't really a great fan, found out I didn't really do it too much, uh, correctly rather, when I used a little bit more, and probably way more than I needed, I did actually see um, much more of an effect, which I really, really liked. So I would, on that basis, I would absolutely recommend it. And you know, when you see a product, if you're a man walking down the uh, the aisles um, and you're looking at products in stores or wherever you are in the supermarket here in the UK, very popular places are Boots, Superdrug. Um, most of our supermarkets have an absolute huge array of different hair care products as well. 
just because a product is aimed at women's hair, don't necessarily think that you can't try it, because I'll be quite honest, sometimes I ask my mum to pick it up, or I ask, <laughs> or I get it on Amazon, or I get it online, so I don't necessarily have to, um, which is a shame, isn't it? Why do we feel uncomfortable in that sort of area? I don't know. Perhaps it's just society the way it is. Um, sometimes I will, I can find myself standing there looking in boots or super drunk here in the UK looking at products. So you get the odd look and you think to yourself, yeah, I like to have good hair. Problem? <laughs> I'm not a nasty person. I'd be nice to absolutely anybody in this world. I don't dislike anybody at all. But sometimes the looks you get, it really does rev you up to think, it's a hair product. Can I help you? So on that basis, um, <clears throat> excuse me, on that basis, um, it is a great shame. So don't don't sort of count yourself out of using products like this at all, because to achieve this style is one thing. To make it look good is another. But to keep it healthy and looking healthy is a whole new board game. And products like this can really, really transform your hair and absolutely have the power to give you a whole new set, a new lease of life of your style. And I would absolutely recommend this. Cost-wise, I've checked the prices online today. This is on offer from £10 down to 5 for a lot of places here in the UK, um, and I would absolutely recommend this. It is a great product. Now, it's not going to be for everybody. My mum really didn't like this product. She thought that it was, um, it was a hype, that it was well, um, well over the top. It was advertised well over the top, and it wasn't nowhere near as good. Now, I admit, when you see eight seconds on here, you think that you're going to get an absolutely out-of-this-world product. It's not, but it's still very, very good. Is it realistic? I don't think from the packaging and saying eight seconds wonder water is very realistic. I think that should be changed and adapted. Um, but then it may well just be L'Oreal's uh, laminar uh, conditioning water. Who knows? I haven't tried any others. I certainly will do in the future. It says here, 10 times smoother, shinier hair, silicon free, no way down. So absolutely no way down. Silicon free, fantastic. So that's none of those products which are added to our conditioners, our products to make our hair um, artificially shiny, all those sort of unnatural type effects on our hair. So shinier hair, yes. 10 times smoother, I'm not sure 10 times smoother, but certainly a lot smoother. I'd say about five times smoother, not certainly not 10 times smoother. Dream lengths, I haven't got that long length of hair, but I imagine for women's hair, this uh, particularly bleached hair, this stuff is pretty damn good. Okay, so I hope this really, really helps. I know really unusual for a man to be reviewing this type of product, um, but why not at the end of the day? Okay, we all look to, want to look good, don't we? So regardless of product choice, whether it's for a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. If you're comfortable using it, then that is the main thing. Okay, thanks very much for sharing this with me, and thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I'll be seeing you real soon. Take care. Bye for now.